Even in Ukraine, this name deserves more recognition and we want to bring his music to a broad audience. There are few passages that every concert we play you you really are able to, to go somewhere else. You finally feel so intense. First of all, we want to present uh, Barvinsky alongside with Alexandra Katsalap, who is living here since one and a half years and wrote a piece for us. And Mendelssohn we chose because it's one of the, our, our favorite pieces for trio that we enjoy playing very much. alongside with Bartok, Martinot and many composers at that period was trying to combine the folk culture with classical music in a way um, that you can really present it in the academic concert. I think it's a combination of some post-romantic and folk Ukrainian melodies uh, written in a very, very interesting way, very attractive way, and it's really touch very deep, not only uh, Ukrainian music fans, but I think all the people around the world, because it's, it's really written in a very, very nice way. Luckily we have a lot of pieces that survived that were published outside of Ukraine. Some of his works he was able to write again from the memory during these 10 years of uh, prison. And I think this, kind, this is just one example of um, an Ukrainian artist that was deleted from, this, from the history. And many of those we don't even know, but of course, the one that we know and we respect, we want to pay our tribute. And um, in that way, in that sense, we called our trio in honor of his name. We are trying to give attention to the Ukrainian music. We play Barvisky, that is the composer that gave us the name. Uh, that is a trio that we love. Musically, for sure, Barvisky, we had to work a lot because it's not a so well-known piece. Actually, there are no recordings, so we had to work very hard to give us sense or to try to understand. Um, so we are, I mean, I'm at least very proud of the work that we did. There are few passages that every concert we play you, you really are able to, to go somewhere else. You finally feel so intense and it's almost the same passage. In Barbiski it's uh, in the very last moment, in the, almost at the very end of the last movement. Almost everywhere there are very, very nice phrases where I feel on myself, but I also feel the energy of them too, that yeah, we, we really touch another dimension. It's, it's for me, it's the, the, the best way to express yourself, and you express yourself when you forget concepts and you can reach another dimension. Music 
it's uh, some substance which I think it's only only one way to connect ourselves with space, whatever it means for everybody, <laughs> with nature, with people, because it's totally different language than we used to to speak, but we all can understand as one unique, some energy, and if it's really truly happening in the moment, you can really understand much more around what is going on around yourself and around the world. Thank you.